this is Harsh and first of all thanks to Mohammed and STC Network for inviting me here and share my experience. So before I start uh, today's session, let me um, start with who am I. So hi, I am Harsh Agarwal, a blogger from India and to be specific, I am a professional blogger. That means from last 5 years, I have been making a living out of the blog. So guys, here is a bit about my blogging journey. Well, it was in 2008, I completed my engineering degree and I was placed in a company called uh, Accenture. I started blogging out of my passion. Well, I was not a very good writer, I was not a, very, a blogger or in fact, I did not knew like you can make money online. So I started blogging on a free platform called Blogspot. I started sharing what I knew, what I learned over the time. And initially people started commenting. Well, that was the biggest joy of my life because nothing feels better than when somebody is listening to what you are saying. Somebody is reading what you are writing. And then people, uh, people started uh, interacting with my blog and later on I realized I need a better platform. And I moved to self-hosted WordPress. Well, that's how I jumped into the blogging. Well, first money that I made online was by helping someone with his Google Webmaster issue and that was dollar ten, and that was the time when he told me like hey how should I send you money and I had no idea then I researched about that I realized there is a service called PayPal and you can receive money via that well that's how my online journey started and now I make good amount of money I make a good living out of my blogs right now my blog is one of the top blog in my country and quite popular globally so this is about me a bit about blogging, a bit about entrepreneurship and a bit about things that will change your life, that will help you to become a better version of you. Now very first thing that I want to start today's session with what is entrepreneurship. So I'm sure you must have heard a lot about entrepreneurship in today's session. And let me share my viewpoint on entrepreneurship. For me entrepreneurship is being your own boss. Entrepreneurship is finding a pain to a problem. Entrepreneurship is following your passion. If you combine all these three of uh, three ingredients, then yes, you are an entrepreneur. Well, let me take a normal take on the today's society. Like India and Pakistan, we have the similar kind of lifestyle. We have the similar kind of system. We go to college, finish our graduation degree, and then we look out for the job. This is a trend that has been set for years and we have been following. Well, there's one thing that you need to know. This era, the era where we are living in, this is called entrepreneurship revolution era. Like in the old days, it was industrial revolution. Today, this is the entrepreneurship revolution. And if you are not riding the wave, you are missing out a lot. This is the time when anyone, anyone, literally you, the person sitting next to you, can start a business without with zero experience. All you need is a vision, a passion, and an idea that is unique. Well, today's session, I'll be talking some of those factors that will help you to become a good entrepreneur. And the first and the foremost is networking. Well, um, so we all want to be famous, we all want to be successful, we all want to do something unique. Well, my friend, always remember you can't do it all alone. You need people to success. You, if you look at all the popular companies, they are not successful because of one person. They are successful people because they have more people working with them, they have more people they are networked with. So networking is the key. Now one of the things that we add people on Facebook, we add people, follow people on Twitter and we think we are connected. No my friend, you are not connected. The connection is getting into somebody's inner network. Now when I mean, when I say inner network is when I, if you are connecting with me and if you live in my city and I invite you to my party, that is called being a part of the inner circle. So similarly, try to create meaningful connection. Try to find what is common between and the person whom you want to be connected. Start having a meaningful conversation. Start having a conversation which adds value, which make you like a person, which make the other person like you. So always remember network. Network as much as you can. Second and foremost important thing, especially when you're working online, is the branding. Now when you're online, People don't see you, people don't know you. What they see is the stuff about you. It may be your blog, it may be your website, it may be your Facebook profile. So one of the very important thing is visual representation. How visually appealing your website looks like. Well, your blog design, your Twitter page design, they are the first non-textual conversation between you and the people who's trying to connect to you. 
so well i suggest you to work uh, clearly on that second and most important thing use a clear image of yourself so i've seen people using uh, images of celebrity images of object sometimes images of their dog on their facebook profile on their twitter profile now many of us i used to be very shy when when it comes to putting my picture you remember your teacher used to teach you a for apple b for bat and they show you the picture well it's our human mind that's how we relate everything if you are working online if you plan to create a, a career online you have to be more human i would like to connect to a person when i see the real person always remember you are unique you are one of your kind and there is no copy well till the time no cloning comes comes into the picture so ensure use your own picture ask your friend to take a good picture and use the same picture everywhere on facebook on twitter on grafter everywhere third and most important thing is competition when you are working online you will keep hearing like hey you have this competitor you have this competitor always remember there is no competition online if you are a blogger or even if you are an app developer and you have some person around you who is doing the same thing well you are not competition it's you are the two people who share the same vision same passion and the interesting part two of you have so many common things to talk about you are not competitor well now the question is who is your competition your competition is your competition is you you have to be a better version of you with every day if you are a better version of you from what you were 7 days back you are winning you are succeeding but if you are not you are going you are going down the line so your goal should be if tomorrow you wakes up you must have learned something new you must be a better version of you well this is one thing that if you keep in your mind you will you will definitely reach the success so, another thing like if you are a blogger or if you are someone who is just jumping into entrepreneurship journey and is working from home like me i've been working from home for 5 years well you need to learn one thing and that is discipline you need to take care of your health you need to take care of your mental state you need to be a uh, very disciplined you need to be organized now when you are working in office you have a fixed time you have a fixed schedule for everything but when you are working from home it's not the same there are things which might not be the same and uh, nobody is going to come and tell you hey hey man you have to do this you have to finish this in particular time when you are working online you have you have to ensure that you keep the perfect balance bit of all these things you need to work online at the same time you have to socialize with the people what do you remember why are you working online you working online to make money to make a living out of it right so once you are once you are making money what is the next thing you going to do you going to live a life right and you not going to live life online so make sure that you find the perfect balance between being online and when you are offline so guys mohammed asked me a very interesting question to answer and the question is harsh if you have dollar 500 how how would you invest that money on the startup so i always consider blogging to be a very good business and i am the living proof of that i still make more than 7000 dollar per month via my blog so let me put this in money on a blog if i have to start a blog where i would invest that money but before i answer that question there are few things uh, i would like to clear out especially if you are one who is planning to start a career in blogging or start to make a living out of the blogging you need to have certain basic knowledge about blogging you need to have certain uh, basic information and one of the most important thing is your writing you need to invest a lot on your writing and when i say investment that means you need to improve your writing english is not our first language and i'm very sure you must be facing the problem with the english everywhere so spend initial one uh, one month improving your writing make it better learn new uh, new words and improve as much as you can if required you can find a tutor on a hiring a tutor there's one interesting thing that you have to understand we live in on uh, an in an online era whatever information we need we can go and google it so instead of taking help of someone especially when we, we have google we have so many things online you know start learning from yourself there are many good resources like copyblogger.com is one of my favorite where you can learn a lot about web writing copywriting in, to be specific another most important thing is search engine optimization now you need to if you are working online you have a website you have a blog you need to drive a good number of traffic now you can always go and tell people hey man this is my link come and visit my blog they will come and visit your blog but that's not some that's not the kind of traffic you need you need traffic for the from the people who is coming to your blog looking for some specific problem how would they reach out to your blog the easiest way they would go to a search engine like google find up find their problem and google will show those result so that's where seo comes into the picture if you do seo quite right you will drive immense amount of traffic and 
it will hardly take a week if you understand from the best like there are good blogs you can go to SEO malls you can go to my blog you can go to pro blogger all these blogs talks a lot about blogging and SEO and you can learn a lot so invest initial time uh, sharpening your skills basic skills the third and most important thing is social media marketing now the era is changing instead of offline we all are online and we believe whatever is posted online more than somebody has told us offline so the thing is you need to learn certain etiquettes how to use social media sites like facebook twitter uh, what what are the things you should be doing what are the good practices there how you can be more helpful how you can help people what are the things that will help others to uh, notice you so these are some things that you will learn by reading learning from other uh, people experience trying implementing and finding out what is working for you always remember what is working for me might not work for you what is working for you might not work for someone else so always find what what is working for you well these are the three basics that you need to uh, work upon so if you work upon here is my advice on how you will be how i'll be investing dollar 500 in my business very first thing i'll be investing 50 dollar on my web hosting and a domain name I'll, I'll buy a domain name which can be brandable which is unique and which is something i can tell everyone that hey this is my domain name go and visit one second i'll invest another hundred dollar on getting a good design of the blog you can stretch your money if you want to go for a higher end design but you can always go and buy themes from online sites which which are astonishing which are which looks really good looks very professional and give a very good visual representation third i'll invest initial 200 dollars on hiring the best author in my niche and ask them to write on my blog why i would do that well when you start a new website we have to give something to people that they have not seen and that is called pillar content so if you are producing some content that nobody has ever seen well you are doing the right thing my friend now after that we are still left with 150 dollar now that money i'll invest on promotion i'll probably hire someone to write articles for me or i'll hire someone to go ahead and guest post on my behalf now this is on the marketing front but if you are more personal like me where you like to write your own stuff i would save that 150 dollar for maybe i'll take i'll take my friend out for i'll save that money for the networking i'll save that money for something better in future so this is how i am planning i will invest my 500 dollar and the best thing about blogging you can start with zero dollar all you need is a good idea good good writing skills and you can go to blogspot.com wordpress.com start a free blog once you get the hitch of blogging you you can plan to take it professionally and invest some money so this is how i will invest money and i would look forward for your remark for your comments and if you want to reach me my social media profile are denharsh on twitter denharsh on facebook and by the end before i conclude few things that i would like to uh, add well when you are working online be human whoever you are interacting online is a human by the end of the day even if you say like particular website is not good particular website design is not good when you are cursing when you are saying such words you are not saying this thing about the website you are saying this thing about the person who is behind the website the designer who is behind the website what you can do you can give constructive feedback you can tell them like okay this particular element this particular thing on the website i did not like well people like positive feedback people like honest feedback be constructive don't be destructive second have a positive attitude you know uh, there are times when you're working online you will you will feel like okay you are all alone you are of your own my friend you are always alone and you are always of your own so first of all always be confident always keep faith in you and be positive that is the most important thing well if you have any problem in your life right now it's because of your actions in the past so do what is right do what you feel is right and do everything with a very positive attitude and if you do all of this thing i'm very sure you will see nothing but success i'll see you soon i hope to see you soon see you guys soon someday thank you for your time bye bye